I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, recently I did a video about this old compact system running Windows 11. And this machine has just 2 gigs of DDR memory. It's got a Celeron D356 processor. This machine failed so badly on the Microsoft Elite Class Minimum System Requirements running Windows 11. The only thing that had a check mark was the storage. And guess what, guys? We're going to fix that. We're going to actually run Windows 11 on a computer that absolutely does not meet any of the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. We have a 64 gigabyte SSD in there right now, which the SSD does meet the uh, Elite Class requirements because it's 64 gigabytes, which the minimum Elite Class requirement for storage for Windows 11 is 64 gigabytes. Here we have, turn around the right way, here we have a Western Digital 40 gigabyte hard drive from 2004. This thing's 18 years old. And we're going to actually copy the data off that SSD and put it on this bad boy. And then we're going to start the system up and admire this already slow running machine meeting none of the minimum system requirements for Windows is 11. Okay, so I got the 40 gigabyte hard drive image with uh, the data that was on the 64 gig SSD and I've now got it installed in this system. So now that being said, let's go ahead and start it up and witness Windows 11 running on a system that does not meet any of the system requirements for Windows 11. Okay, we finally had the taskbar, and I had the uh, video sped up by four times there through the boot up, but it took nearly eight minutes from startup to taskbar, which is just painfully slow. I mean, painfully slow. So in the previous video where I was uh, uh, messing around with this machine, I had, of course, that 64 gigabyte solid state drive in there and the solid state drive was just not having to do much anything because the SSD was so much faster and now we got that old 2004 hard drive and things are definitely down to a crawl so let's go have a look at 
task manager and see how everything's doing here. And of course, as we um, expected, that CPU would just be running at 100% um, max out all the time. I mean, this thing took so freaking long to get going. Um, it's like almost like you could just take a nap waiting for it to boot up. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's go ahead and pull up File Explorer. And you can see the disk is being worked a good bit, but it's not at 100%. It's just, uh, even with this slow hard drive in here, the CPU is still our bottleneck. And I should mention that this is not the first time I have seen a system where the SSD was, uh, I mean, with the SSD installed, it didn't really make a huge difference in performance because of the CPU being so underpowered and slow. I had this happen before uh, with uh, testing in a netbook, and I, I'll put a card in the upper right corner if I, if I remember to, right up here, to a video that I shot a while back. And <laughs> Wow, look at this. We actually got some... A, dare we call it idle time on that CPU? That's kind of surprising because in the previous video it was just pegged down 100%. So let's go ahead and go to computer and see how much disk space we're using up on drive C. And you can see with the clean install, one is 11. We have over half of the 40 gig hard drive used up. So I'd say it's pretty fair for them to require a, uh, a 64 gigabyte minimum storage space for your OS because, I mean, this is just Windows 11 and it's pre-installed bloat. This doesn't even include your own programs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's, that being said, let's go in, uh, go ahead and pull up PC Health Check. Here we are, and let's go see how this computer running Windows 11, painfully slow, does not meet any of the Microsoft Elite Class Middle System requirements. There should be no check marks this time. That's our goal, no check marks. You can see the disk, it's, the, the uh, hard disk did actually reach 100% there for a little bit, but uh, <laughs> spikes here and there. But the CPU on this machine is pretty much the bottleneck. And here comes PCL check finally loading up. I just love this, introducing, yeah. Oh look, this, uh, this PCL check is reporting this as a 40 gigabyte SSD. Since when did solid state drives uh, operate over the ID interface? So yeah, let's kind of have a look here. This PC does not currently meet the Microsoft Elite Class minimum system requirements for Windows 11. See our results, and you can see <laughs> there are no check marks. We got caution. We got caution signs and red X's. X X X X. Caution sign, caution sign. So apparently the caution signs are what go next to the uh, secure bit requirement and the TPM requirement. But yeah. This system, officially as it is now, does not meet any of the Windows 11 system requirements. At all. None. Yet it's running Windows 11. Now, just keep in mind... Um, this system, if you didn't watch the previous video, I could not actually clean install Windows 11 on this specific machine. What I had to do is I had to take the, uh, the primary drive out, attach it to the, uh, computer plexi, which does meet the requirements enough to install Windows 11. Um, so I, I hooked up that drive to the plexi, used the installer to basically image the drive and once it got to the re restart stage I shut down the system, disconnected the uh, drive, put it back in this machine and finished the install. So there you have it guys.
The system does not meet any of the requirements. So we're not exactly done with this machine just yet. We're going to actually be um, test running Zorin OS on this thing just to see how much better it would run with a build of Linux. Now of course there are lightweight builds of Linux out there but we're going to be using the core build of Zorin on this just for fun just to see how it does compared to the uh, bloated Windows 11. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following QQ Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.